Hey Dino fans, how are we doing? This is Mr. A2G back again playing some more Durango Wildlands. How are we going guys? Okay, so where we left off from the previous video, we checked out our first um, untamed island. So basically it was one of those um, uh, areas where it uh, diffuses after a couple of days and then you go back again and then naturally everything resets. So we're back at it again. So I'm at the... Um, uh, Hebe uh, Taragu Jiu uh, Unst Unstable Islands, if I've pronounced that correctly, if I've butchered it, I apologise, but this is what we've got here. So it's an unstable island, uh, we're going to get into it, we're going to see what type of quest is available for us um, with this um, island, and let's see what type of uh, mission that we can accept. So, um, what I wanted to do was apparently off the back of the last video I was able um, someone communicated to me in game that we could start taming um, uh, uh, dinosaurs so not not players but one of the NPCs here so I sort of wanted to um, uh, you know sort of head off and do something like that but let's go and hit off some bedrock and some boulders here anyway and we'll collab a few let's get to the target area yeah, where is that little target area? It's, well, wow, it's way over there. Okay. So it looks like we've got a bit of, um, um just going to reject that one there for now, but we're going to head over there. Hopefully we don't run into anything, um, too savage here, but, um, let's jump right across and get through it. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying the series. Um, it has been a little bit more successful than the other games that I've been currently playing and trying out over the last couple of weeks. So I'm going to continue playing this game and hopefully you guys uh, will continue to enjoy it, uh, more or less. That's basically what we're here for. So if you do, make sure you hit the like button. Let me know what you think of the game by hit, uh, dropping a comment down in the comments section down below. But also, not only that, if you guys are new and you definitely don't want to miss out on any future videos of Durango or any other uh, games that I'm currently playing, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell along with it. So with all that out of the way, we are just pacing ourselves along, trying to get over to this boulder area and we'll complete our first mission. And we'll see um, what else is in store for us. I do want to see if I can get some, find some tamed animals or untamed animals and see if we can get one for ourselves. Um, we'll work out how that works, if that's a possibility or, you know, anything like that, but we'll, we'll definitely work it out. Um, let's see. So these guys here, I think these were what I was sort of looking at before, but I've only got the attack icon there, so we're not going to do any of that just yet. So we'll just go ahead and fulfill the mission and we'll see what else is available later on um, after which so we'll you know definitely take it you know play it by ear kind of thing. New animal discovered lizard ooh okay we are being attacked by a lizard that's okay we'll um we'll see what we can get ourselves out of strife, which we did, so that's not too bad at all. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll guard up some old lizard meat. Very good. And I believe with every single, um, which is a good thing as well, every single uh, thing that we do with this game, it'll allow us to increase our, um, our gathering, our um, attacking, everything that we do in the game. Especially with crafting as well, the more that you craft, the high level of your craft will be. So that is is a really, really cool feature I do really like about this game. So so depending on how you guys want to invest in your um, your skill points as well, into your skill trees to increase your players, um, you know, uh, mileage in terms of, you know, um, getting this or getting that, you know, it really sort of plays a bit of a role, which is quite cool. As soon as I finish this, I'm gonna go see what that little yellow arrow is asking me to do. Hopefully it's nothing too freaky, too crazy, but we'll, we'll certainly find out in a moment. Uh, oh, well, that's the rock mine that I was supposed to find. Fair enough. So that's just the crater. 
and go to the target area, obtain level 5 of a higher stone chunk and deliver it off to the drop off point so we can definitely go ahead and do that now. Um, it's just weird when, when you get the music that just changes and then you're like, oh okay, what's going to happen here? Is there something that's going to come out and grab us? I don't know. <laughs> I just want to know what these type of, um, okay, so we've got coconut. I definitely want to take that. Also, while I'm here, I want to work out uh, mud deposits as well and how that sort of works. So, <coughs> excuse me, apparently in this zone you can uh, find mud. <laughs> uh, I'm not too sure exactly where or how to do that. So, if you guys want to let me know in the comments, that'd be fantastic. Now, I'll be doing back-to-back -back videos, so by the time that this one goes up, I may not be able to answer any questions by the second video, um, you know, on camera. So, basically what I'll probably end up doing is I will more or less um, uh, answer any questions or reply to anyone in the comments that replied back to me or give me some answers to the questions that I'm asking currently. So, yeah, definitely go ahead and let me know. I'm just sort of going to tap here there just to see if there's anything that pops up that, you know, uh, resembles me doing or um, getting any sort of mud or anything like that. Um, and the other reason why I wanted to is it, it helps me um, create the, um, the farm. So I want to do the farm and, you know, start crafting up some food and things like that. So that's the only reason why I'm sort of looking into that right now. But anyway, um, let's see how far away we are. Oh, we're not too far. Actually, he covers ground pretty quickly. I mean, naturally, it's going to be a lot better once we get, um, what's that? Uh, I'll leave you alone. Yeah, so, basically, um, yeah, so, as soon as I get to, like, a tamed animal or anything like that, I'm sure moving around will be quite, quite fast, so, uh, I'm not going to sort of, um, gonna run out and try and find myself a, a dino right away unless if we're if we're told this guy seems uh, so he looks like he's inactive that's fine so right now i'm not going to sort of participate into many um or if not any sort of um party activity or clan activity i might sort of suss that out first before we sort of jump right into it and um hopefully you know from there um i might do some gameplay i'm not too sure yet but we'll we'll see because I really don't want to sort of there we go, get into some any sort of mischief where I'm not able to sort of uh, essentially survive really. Alright, let's check out the old communication center. Um, so softly carry, process softly and carry a long stick. Well, we'll go ahead and do that. Like I said, there was something where we could, um, that I read somewhere, I can't even remember where it was, but we could, um, I was going to have the option to tame an animal, so I don't know what happened there, but I must have missed my opportunity to do so, so that's probably, you know, bad luck on me on that one, but I'm going to have to, probably have to work that one out. But actually, this brings me to my next point as well, guys. I want you to let me know what you think about the gameplay um, for now. Um, it's a let's play, so I want to sort of play from start to finish, you know, in a sense. Um, but more so, you know, I don't want to sort of drag it out too long either or anything like that. So let me know what you guys think about that as well. So ha how you want me to sort of, you know, perceive the game and sort of, um, you know, play, do you want me to sort of play the game in the background and get back to it, you know, when once I upload another video or, you know, give me license to play the game as I normally would and obviously, you know, upload videos when, you know, accordingly, I guess. So I'm sort of thinking about option A, just so, you know, we can sort of share the adventure together and that's probably what I'm thinking about this. So. But I want, to, I want to hear it from you guys as well. Let me know what you guys are thinking about that as well. So we'll, you know, we'll work it out. Um, so I'm going to obtain a long stick. Now I've got to find where this long stick may be. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Um, okay, so made through processing by cutting pillars or extending sticks. Okay. So I'm just going to cut a couple of these logs here because I've got a feeling that I'm going to need to use these at some point. So we'll just go ahead and do that anyway. And hopefully no one's going to bother us, which will be always a good thing. All right. So if I go to craft and build, so there's something about a long stick if, if I had to extend its stick. So if I craft two of those, should be able to tap that there or let's fill automatically. I need a strap. Okay. So I need some uh, stalks, so let's just grab all of that. So I'll craft up the straps first, and then obviously, and my guy is hungry, which is always not a good thing. So let's just hit that. Let's just hit that once more. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, all right, so let's go back to my bag. Got some food here anyway, so let's just eat that. Just, uh, we're full, cannot eat, okay. All right, so let's go back into the crafting menu. I'm going to want to do two, and uh, we'll craft those up. It's good that you can do that, you can do it automatically as well, so which is something that I do enjoy. All right, so let's go back to that extended stick. Let's craft. I want to do two, and I think that's going to suffice the mission. There we go. That's one, and that's two. All right, so let's go back to the drop-off point, and we'll drop that off. Okay, we've got a couple of little beacons flying up here as well, so we'll see what both of these are all about. Okay, so let's just go ahead and drop these off anyway. Fill automatically, insert, job done. And what do we have here? So I've already done that. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. Can't really change that, can you? Oh, someone's about to, yep. <laughs> Warp away. So, shellfish compulsions. So, they want us to, I would imagine, just take some uh, shellfish. So, follow the coast, get some pile of clams, clam meat. Okay, you know, the recipe. Uh, gather some meat. Alright, well, we'll just go ahead and do this anyway. I feel I've done one of each so we'll go back to the shoreline here which shouldn't be much of an issue because these things always pop up everywhere so problem is with this especially a lot of other people will be doing a similar type of mission so you really have to go somewhere where people may have not have um, uh, come across the area so at least that way you can sort of um, you know, grab the necessary items that you need so like here for example, so you want to grab all that and then obviously all that afterwards. So I think it's only just one deposit which is an easy thing. Okay, let's just grab that. So he might be hungry, so let's just eat on that, yes. So we're here too full, fair enough. All right, so we'll drop that back up at the drop-off point. And we'll see what else we can do from there after. Okay, and drop this off. Fill automatically. Insert. And even better, we've leveled up. 
which is a good thing as well. <coughs> so if we level up, naturally everything goes back to full. So fatigue is finished, stamina is good, health is good, and we are back in business again, which is amazing. Um, let's see what the bulletin board has, because I haven't actually seen this yet. No posts, so we'll leave that alone. And, ooh, you are one majestic looking animal, aren't you? <laughs> ah, is there anything else that we can do? So, let's have a look. So, in order to gather some materials nearby island, I think you can get some rope, the quicker the better. It doesn't have to be made from stalk either, as long as the price is right, you can purchase uh, from another client. Scratch my back, I scratch yours, let's just go ahead and do it. We'll be able to get some um, rope anyway, quite easily. Because I think... I think it's got to do with the stalk. Even though they said you don't have to do with... Um, you don't have to use stalk. I think it might be faster if we just craft it ourselves. And we just grab the remainder and we'll go ahead and see if that works. I could be wrong. So let's just go craft. So we can only do two for now. So let's see if that fills up the gauge. No, it does not actually. Hmm, okay. All right. It doesn't have to be made from silk either, so you can purchase some from another client. Okay. Oop, I don't want to abort. I just wanted to find out if I can get some wrangling rope. So it don't, doesn't look like you can actually craft it here, which is interesting. Oh well, we'll, um, we'll work that out eventually anyway. So I think that's everything. Yeah, that's basically it. Anyway, I think we might go ahead and leave it today. A shorter video today, hopefully that's all fine with you. But I just wanted to get a couple of these out of the way and just see, um, you know, what what type of um, involvement that we can get with the, uh, with the game, mission-wise and things like that. And also, yeah, I want to hear from you guys if there's any tips or tricks, anything that I can do uh, to make my uh, gameplay a lot better and hopefully make some more interesting content. So with all that out of the way, uh, let me know by hitting um, the like button if you did enjoy the video. Also comment down below with all the tips and things like that if you guys have them. And if you guys are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button notification bell. All right, guys, take it easy. I'll catch you on the next one.